I have found a certain contentment yes, in on. my, you know, fifth year of being single, That's you know? Nice. I'm loving it. Do I still desire to be married at the right time? Absolutely, I do. Um, but if God doesn't give it to me, will I die unfulfilled? No, because I do have community with sisters, right. with other family That's members. Right. I have great brothers. I have great couples that are my friends and singles. And so I feel like my relationship, my relationships are good right now. You know, it has room to improve, but it's not a bad situation to where I feel thirsty, like yeah. you said earlier. Um, but I didn't always feel this way. I didn't always feel the contentment that I have yeah. now. Um, but after my marital status change is what I call it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I went through a period of I never, like I don't want to ever even want to want to be married again, mm -hmm. you know? So I remember going through that and not necessarily I'm um, hating men, but, but the Lord began to heal me through me seeing other great relationships, yeah. me um, opening up my desire again to say, you know what, no, the right kind of even love relationship is of me. Mm -hmm. You know, the songs of Solomon are in the Bible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For a reason. And so yeah. um, I have, I have a, a healthy desire now. And, and it came from the Lord healing me. You know, it didn't yeah. come from me just waddling in my brokenness. Mm -hmm. But for me saying, Lord, this is yours. I give you even these broken pieces and use my life however you choose to. And so in the meantime, I'm being busy in the field. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to glean oh, like right. root. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if Boaz wakes up and says, hey, who is that? You know, then all right, I'm just saying. <laughs> But you know what? I think that's so cool because you found your happiness being yes. single. Yes. And I think a lot of single women yeah. have wanted to get married and maybe they're older now and they've never been married, yeah. but they've been happy yes. in their singleness because he says, I'm the husband to the husbandless, yes. you know, and that's I'm right. the father to the fatherless. And, yes. and if we find our identity in ourself and him, that changes everything. Um, during the season, because I am single, I have found a new contentment because I'm able to do certain things that I couldn't do when I was married. You know, it's like it's like you're being aware of like you guys, you can maximize the season that you're in. Yeah. And now I can maximize the season that I'm in until that season change, if it is to change. So if I wanted to just get up and go to Paris with my friends, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I can do that. Love I mean, it. I have children, <laughs> but they're getting older. So yeah, it's like, yeah. really, I'm just like, okay, hey, Karen, what are you doing? You know, hey, so-and-so. <laughs> you know, we can do yeah. certain things that I don't have to um, check in in the same way. Um, and it has its pros, but of course then it has its cons. You yeah. know, when great things happen, you're just telling the same three people and that's great, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, but in the meantime, you know, the relationships are the things that we need and they're, you know, without them, life is just, it's spiceless. You know, the best advice my mom gave me was um, during a time when I really wasn't trying to hear it. But she told me, she said, God is not in a hurry. She wasn't saying that God doesn't do things swiftly or that he doesn't do things suddenly because he does do that. But he's not anxious, he's not in a hurry, he's not panicked. And so he doesn't um, do knee-jerk reactions so we don't have to um, live our lives thinking that, oh my goodness, you know, what is God gonna do, what am I going to do? We can rest in him knowing that he has it, his timing is perfect, um, he may not come even when it's timely for us, but he's always on time when, um, because it's in order with what he has. And so I think for me, that was probably one of the better things. And it has taught me, and it's still teaching me to be patient and to relax in, in Christ and know that he has it all taken care of.